Hello, I'm Benson and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a CCTV camera by Citronix. Now this is sent to me by Amazon and not by Citronix, so I can say good or bad things about this camera. But in fact, I don't know much about this camera. Now, I have been doing reviews on CCTV for a while now. When you, when you go to Amazon and do a CCTV search, there's literally thousands and thousands of uh, CCTV camera ranging from, let's say, a 15 quid indoor dumb camera to like thousands of pounds of uh, kit. And if you want to find out more about CCTV camera, do have a look at my playlist because I do have a range of different videos. But this one here, I do want to show you guys. So on Amazon, it's listed at about 170 pounds at the moment. And this one has an optical zoom. Now, I haven't come across a CCTV camera with an optical uh, zoom yet. And for you guys who actually knows about videos um, enhancing, if you record in 4K, providing the compression rate is good enough, you can do a digital enhancement to, let's say, maybe double of the size. That let you zoom in a little bit, maybe see the uh, number plate when the lighting condition is correct and all that. But with optical zoom, it's different. So even though the original sensor um, is low resolution, you should get minimum loss in the quality if you use the optical zoom. So for that reason, I want to show you guys what your money can buy. Hopefully my information will be useful to you, but bear in mind that this is the first time that I have tested this kind of camera, so I'm just learning as I go. On the advertisement, this one has a 5 megapixel sensor. So it would be nice to show you guys what the actual footage is. I'm going to do some tests on the optical capability as well as showing you how good or how bad the picture is during the day and at night. So what do you get for £170 in the UK? So you get a box like this, Citronic uh, security camera. So it has all the popular CCTV function that you would want in the platform. So you have an app control, obviously, you use your phone to control it and to see who is in front of your camera, two-way audio, um, you've got memory card storage, so you don't have to pay for subscription. You've got human detection, so you know it should be able to detect human or animals. Let's see how good that is, because a lot of my CCTV camera, they don't. They, they just keep giving me alerts of the cats and fox from the nearby. Uh, houses. Um, all platforms supported. There should be like, you know, there should be an app for um, Android or Apple or PC. Color night vision. Now that is a bit of a uh, con because they're uh, basically they just have white LEDs to shine um, for for um, nighttime use. Uh, 350 degree pan and 90 degree tilt. The, the head can actually rotate. And this is the reason why I want to show you guys, because first you got optical zoom. And secondly, it does have human detection where it actually tracks the subjects. Um, the ads say that it has less than one second of focusing, um, which is important. Whenever you do a zoom, sometimes they get out of focus and then you can't see anything. And people do move quite quickly, especially if they're running or, or, or like running away. Um, you do want to focus quickly so you can see what you're looking at. Uh, metal body construction, so they should be durable and waterproof. And real-time alerts. Um, with your phone app, uh, when they detect something, it should tell you on the phone. Now, when I'm doing my research for the video, I type in uh, 30 times uh, optical zoom CCTV camera, and a lot of them come up. So this is kind of like in the middle price range. Some of them will be like 200 over pounds. Some of them will be like 170 pounds, like this one. And some of them are as low as 120 pounds. And obviously the 120 pound might have less function than this one. For example, the one I saw kind of like didn't have a floodlight built in. I think they all use the same kind of a technology. I mean, the focusing and the zoom part, I think it's the same across a different company. They just slap a different name on and maybe a different design but the actual technology is the same. So let's see what you can get for your money. So in the box, you got your main camera and it's actually quite big. I mean, um, if you install this somewhere in the front of your house, everyone will know, almost like you're, you're a bank vault or something. So um, <laughs> yeah, so this is almost like an industrial size. If I put it next to my face, then you can see how big this camera is. I do love the matte black with no white on show. I think this um, could be quite stealthy if you install it under the eave of a roof. Um, especially with zoom, you don't have to have it into the front of the house. Maybe you can have it towards the rear part of the house. In fact, the instruction do say the best location will be at least three meters from the ground so that it has a kind of a bird's eye view and it can still zoom in. The wall mount here is metal. So you've got a metal arm going down here. The top part of the casing here which is like a cover and that is metal as well. 
you got dual antenna and the cable for power reset button and the ethernet cable which is running from the top and the bottom here um, you got the gimbal here which is plastic and the lens uh, and the computer itself is inside a plastic casing as well. You've got plenty of LEDs here. Some of them are white lights for a nighttime use. So later on when I power it up, then you can see, and there is a microphone um, inlet in the front and obviously a motion sensor in the front as well. At the back of the lens is where you got a couple of screws holding a plate and behind that should be your SD card slot. So I might as well open it now to have a look. I do like this kind of design rather than just a uh, sloppy uh, silicon, silicon sealed. So usually these kind of seals have a better uh, resistance against water ingress. Oh, you've got a big speaker here at the back. Talking about waterproof, I can see the membrane of the speaker. Maybe the speaker is waterproof, I don't know. But So you've got your SD card slot. You've got a button right next to the SD card slot. I'm not sure what that is for. And I can see the speaker through here. I'm not sure how waterproof that is. That could be the weak point of the camera. So here is a closer view for the CCTV camera. You can see the big glass and the lens, all the LEDs and the infrared lights in the front. At the back, once the flap is open, you can see the electronics inside. And that's where the SD card go. So let's see what else comes with this. So a couple of packets here. So it comes with a power supply. And um, this should be a 12 volt, just like what the camera says on there. And how long is the cable? So actually, not a lot of cable. I mean, maybe if they say you need to install these three meters from the ground, I doubt this will be enough. I think this is about two meters length. And plus you might have to route it around some obstacles. It comes with a screwdriver set, a couple of a cap a gasket for the ends of your cable connection. So if you're not using your internet connection, you can actually use that to screw up the cap. A short ethernet cable and a couple of instruction booklets. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to install it straight on the wall. Um, that should be the last thing that you do. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, install it here under a mock-up setting, set up the app, test out a few things, and then I'm going to mount it outside. To set it up, you need a um, QR code, which is on top of the camera. And by the time that you get off the ladder and actually install it onto the wall, um, you might have to get the letter out again just to get up there to, to scan it. So uh, make sure uh, whatever CCTV you use, check it to make sure it's working because you might have to return it back to Amazon. So now the camera is mounted on my test rig right here. So basically just a upstand of wood. So this represents your wall. Um, I'm going to put my SD card in the, the slot right here. Now not the easiest thing to do because you can easily drop it into the cavity of the camera. So you have to have steady hands right here. Then use my nails to click it in. And now it is in. So the, the cable come down from the wall and then you have an options to plug it in here. Let me just... Okay, so there is power because I saw the light. And now you should do a little dance to calibrate, you know, the camera. So now this is just testing the motor range. While this is doing that, I will try to install the app. All right, so the app that you need to download is called Citronic Pro. It's only got one and a half star out of five, so I don't have much expectation from this. Like any um, software, you do need to register. So I'm going to do that right now. So once you register, um, obviously you need your password, uh, two form of factor authentication, all that jazz. So next step is to scan the QR code. Now this one should support both five gigahertz of Wi-Fi and 2.4. But for range, I always choose 2.4. Unless it's really close to the router, then you choose 5 for a faster connection. But for this instance, I choose 2.4 because this is going to be my outdoor camera in the garden. Wow, that's loud. So that 
basically that just confirmed that this has been connected so once connected you need to give the camera a name maybe tell them where the location is but this is all about the uh, so this is all about user settings so there's no right or wrong on this thing so i'm going to call it camera zoom slide the screen area to rotate the camera to view the screen so this is kind of like an online tutorial um, drag the area okay switch clarity Okay, for those who are already fluent with uh, CCTV system, obviously you know what's going on. But let's just explain to the viewer who is first time um, installing CCTV as such. So basically my phone is connected to the internet via the Wi-Fi and the camera now is connected to the Wi-Fi network as well. So the footage right here is not like camera to phone, it's actually camera to internet and then internet back to the phone. So because of this loop, you can be anywhere in the world. Let's say if I'm traveling to the States and I want to see um, what the camera can see, exactly the same way I lock on to the, um, the system and then I can see what is actually there. And when I press the button here, uh, to talk um, across the world, they can see they can see exact they can hear exactly what I'm trying to say to them. So you can switch the feed from SD to HD. This is what we usually want to see. So you you can see a lot more clear, and it already does. So let's make it a big screen. Uh, this stretch out the expect ratio a little bit. Just a test before I put it into the garden. So at the moment, it's looking at the box. If I do a zoom in, there's a plus and minus button on this side here. I try not to get any glare onto the phone. So if I press the magnifying glass button, now I can hear the lens. All right, yeah, so now this is actually reading off the box and I can actually see it very clearly. App control, two-way audio, TF card storage. I can read all that. Let's see if I can read further away. Oh no, this is opposite direction. Okay, so now I'm looking at the information. So now I'm looking at the information booklet right here. I wonder if I can zoom in even more. It's slow, but it does take some time to focus. So this is the contents. I can read it. Online support. That is probably the smallest. Online support, that's probably the smaller print right there. Okay, so just quickly go through what you can do with the software side of things. So once you connect it to your phone, um, obviously you can change uh, alarm that is quite important. This is what the CCTV is for uh, Relief So you can choose receive um, alarm push. So from now on if there is anything which triggers the alarm then It should come up on my phone So you can adjust how sensitive the motion detection is so you can also exclude the area that you don't want to monitor uh, AI alarm is on so frame the recognition object so this one will actually move the camera to where, where you want to zoom in so you got easy setup so advanced setup gives you a lot more options in terms of like when do you want it um, but I'm just going to stick it easy at the moment and you also got action with alarm so if they detect um, intruder what do you want I want to alarm capture to SD card alarm record to SD card. So this is the way you don't need to pay subscription because everything is localized on the SD card. Um, when the alarm is triggered, the device issue a siren. So this one is interesting because you can actually use it as a um, alarm and you can do a, a custom recording. So for example, get off my lawn, you can actually press that and then it should play that email alarm linkage. You can send it to email. You can configure your email server. And then you can do like alarm record to FTP. So this is more advanced, like, you know, get to the server. Uh, picture capture num number settings. So how many pictures do you want it to record? So that's the siren. Um, I got a pop-up to tell. 
So I've got a pop-up to tell me the human recognition <laughs> warning. This is actually quite annoying. I need to, I need to switch it off. <coughs> All right, so here's where I installed my camera. Ideally, you want it to be a lot higher because this is only like uh, 2.4 meters high. But unfortunately, I don't have any higher building here at the moment. So we will we'll go with that. I know it's working because it's already following me. Every time you detect motion, you can see the, um, the red and blue lights. Okay, let's put one over here. Um, yeah, so this is now the camera view of my garden. This is live, so you know when I do the screen, it will actually move the motor to where we want to look. So let's go with the first card, or the closest card to... There's a false alarm right there. So that's my first card that we put down. And we can zoom in. There's a bit of delay between the function on the phone to the actual movement of the camera. That's why sometimes you can see that I overshoot a little bit. But um, this is as expected because you are using the internet to loop the command. Just remember, you can do this in the, anywhere in the world. I'm not sure if you can see it here, but you know, bottom corner here actually tells you what is your um, zoom at the moment. So what do you think? I mean, it's supposed to be sharp like that, but this is a 30, 30 times zoom. But this is a focusing problem, not the zoom problem. You can see the wall behind there is perfectly in focus. I can even see the grain um, in, in the wall, but you just wouldn't want to focus there. And unlike a camera, you can't really do like touch focusing and stuff like that. I wonder if there is something else that we can do, for example, if we go out and use the control to do focusing, focusing out. Yeah, I think it's getting better. All right, so this, I guess, is as good as it can get. I think that is pretty amazing. Oh, I think the, the, the zoom is pretty amazing, but the focusing seems to be a bit of a letdown. Okay, let's, let's, um, let's hunt for another one. Okay, just a bit of a perspective. This is zoom out. Okay, so the next one down is halfway down the garden somewhere there. I think I saw a slight speckle of reflection there. Let's zoom in. Yep. I think is that you can see that little dot right there is one of the cards so let's zoom in okay so that's the max out already can't really see uh, the picture anymore, but definitely I can find the card. Okay, let's try the one further out, which is around there. Okay, so here you can read the logo of my grill. So you know the brand of the grill that I use right there with a bit of moss growing on the cover, but that's the business card right there by the window. Just for a bit of a perspective, let's zoom out so you guys can see how far it's actually zoomed in. There. Now that's a force, uh, that's a force alarm right there. It says human detected, but there's no human in there. So this is the part where I'm going to test out the CCTV uh, recording footage. So this is a testing, one, two, three. I'm about an arm's length away from the camera. I know this is tracking me because I can still see the red and blue light. I'll trip over my own robot over here. Let's test out the mic function. 
And all this while I'm getting um, notifications from my phone saying that there is a detection. So this is a so mic, this is a mic test, test one, two, three. Mic test. Mic test. Now, if you got this Citronic camera and you try to set it up and you kind of like, you got stuck with why is the camera tracking you and then you go off the frame and then it doesn't go back to like where it's supposed to go. This is a little bit of a trick and tips I'm going to tell you. Not the user menu, but the actual thicker menu here actually tells you how to set up the camera. And it's not easy because it's not graphics interface. For example, to set up the cruise, for example, because this is a uh, camera which can um, can move from location to location, you need to go to the phone and use the preset position to set up where do you want the camera to point to at kind of uh, number 1 to 16. For example, I set number 1 to be the middle of my garden, and then if I set number 2 to be the entrance to this building here, it can actually automatically go between one and two at a set interval. So it's almost like a sweeping motion all the time, but it's not as easy as just click a few buttons. For example, to set up the auto cruising, you have to go into the preset position and then type in the number 41. That makes no sense. So this is 41 is a code to turn on the cruise control. And then you got 94. So you got 94, which set up the cruise and auto tracking. So what I did was I set up number one to be um, the middle of my garden and set up auto cruising. So it's basically it's not moving the camera around. It's just pointing at one direction all the time. And then I turn on the tracking and then the two combined together means that when I walk off from the tracking it will go back to number one straight away rely on the default setting from the camera um, what will happen is you walk out of the frame it will just get stuck in that position and then your cctv camera become useless because it's not looking at where it's supposed to go so citronic if you are looking at this video um, please fix this um, you you already have a very nice app and most of the function is quite self-explanatory, but it's not that hard to add something like A to B to C to D, kind of a button form rather than having to do preset and then type in the code. We are not programmers, so, you know, nice product, but room to improve. <laughs>